what's up everybody this is angry hippie lady and I don't know where we are what was the last thing we did <laughs> NCR trooper major Pil Pilotti Pilotti hey. Pilates hey we're kind of busy around here for social calls so if you're not here to help out just stay out of my way uh okay watch yourself out there uh, where am I Forlorn hope. Oh, oh, it's all coming back to me. Okay, guys, I was listening to some great music. Like, I don't say this uh, this often, but I, I've always kind of enjoyed Lady Gaga, and so I was listening to some abnormal music of hers. Wait, who are you who are you mad at? All right, you gotta shoot them. Just don't. I, I want to shoot because I don't want me to accidentally shoot somebody that I used to know. <laughs> oh, music. All day, every day. I don't listen to music as much as I used to, though. Um, today was just a special day. Well, if everybody else going to be shooting, I'm going to be shooting, too. Alright, fine. Oh, she be throwing. There we go. Float fly is gone. Eh, not worth it. Not worth the wait. Why- why y'all got- Well then. Alright. Y'all gonna be all grr. That's cool. Um, this looks like another place that I need a shovel. Cause, you know. I don't have one. Yet. Oh gosh, why- why you load so rough? Why you gotta be this way? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will stop now. Maybe. I can't I can't help it guys. Look, I get to listen to music. It's all in my head. My mom does the same thing, like if something reminds us of a song, we will sing it or we will, you know, say it something. Because it, it's just that's how our brains work. Is this a thing? This is a thing. Hey, it's a gel. Hey! Cass. Oh. NCR Trooper. Drinking glass. I got a drinking glass! Okay, so... There's nobody in there. So, this gel's kind of useless. Um... Is this a thing? Is this a door? No, there's no door to that. Uh, Hope Shack. Forlorn Ho <laughs> I just read Hope Shack. It's Forlorn Hope. CR Trooper. Trooper. Are there people I can actually talk to here? Or was this place just a waste of my time? Please tell me it was not a waste of my time. Okay, that's not like a big gap in- Hey! You! I've heard of you. Did you figure on coming out here and helping us lowly troopers out? Oh. Huh? What's your problem, man? Come on! No. Uh, how are things around the camp? You kidding me, man? Ow. How are things? They're all fucked up. That's how things are. Everyone is either starving or dying out here. Left out to dry by the rest of the NCR. Fuck this place. I'd rather be anywhere else but here. I feel like I should give this guy a hug. Like, I... Can, can I, like... Slash hug Private Stone? Your problem. I feel like that's gonna be mean. My problem? My problem is we're all going to die. We're out of food, we're out of men, and we're out of time. The Legion is right outside waiting to kill us all. Today, tomorrow, it doesn't matter. We're all going to die here. So why don't you just leave me alone? Yeah, this guy this guy needs a hug. Yeah, and a lot of other know. things, but this guy needs a hug. Alright. Barracks. Maybe we'll find someone else. So far, no quest. Just a lot of we're all going to die. Just let us die. Talk. And see our trooper, Private Sexton. Look who we have here. Always nice to see a friend of the NCR. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? How's morale doing? Terrible. <laughs> Lower than a feral ghoul's IQ. Whoa. Uh, what is your assignment? 
I've been placed in charge of morale. It's difficult trying to keep spirits up with the Legion nearby. In fact, there's more hope in wrangling Brahmin with my grandmother's stocking than inspiring these troopers. So there's no hope in hope. Ironic, isn't it? But it's understandable. The constant skirmishes take their toll on everyone in the end. Yeah. Uh, while well, bringing up morale must be difficult. <laughs> I call that an understatement. But I can't complain. I'm not in the field as much as the others. I just stay here most of the day, coming up with activities to occupy the camp. Which reminds me of something I've been meaning to try. A killer competition to boost morale. Interested? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound very good. What? Oh my god. Yeah, tell me about it. Great. Since the camp is threatened by Legion, I propose a hunt. Kill any you encounter and bring me the Legion's ear as proof. You get it? Legion ear? Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. That's the stupidest joke I've ever heard. That's hilarious. Think of it on your own. Yep. Yeah, been waiting for a chance to use it. So can I count you in? Sign me up. Great. Don't be surprised if you're already last when you return. If I'm right, the troopers will use any excuse to slaughter Legion scum. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, no. See you later. See ya. Alright, so we got a note from him. So... God, I cannot stop shivering. Oh my gosh. I'm not cold. It's like, I don't know, that music was just so good. I got chills to read. Uh, let's see. Data. Misc, maybe? Yeah, Sexton's note. Uh, I'm having a competition to boost morale. Bring me to, bring me an ear for every legion that you kill. I'll keep track at the mess hall. Only one ear per kill. Okay. Cool. And see our trooper. No more people in here. Cass is just like staring that guy down. She's like, hey. Alright, done talk to you. You're you're having some issues. Lieutenant Monroe. We really don't have time to chatter right now. Can I ask you some questions? Shoot. Have I asked you uh let's talk about something else. Alright. So I've already talked to Monroe. Right. Lieutenant Mendro. Lieutenant Hayes. Yeah. Have I talked to you? What are what are you doing? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Is there anything else? Goodbye. So am I done asking questions? I don't remember asking that many questions before the end of the last episode. Granted, I don't remember a lot of things. I think we've gone over this many times. Uh, Quartermaster? Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Nice to see a friendly face around here. We don't get many visitors of your esteem. Something I can do for you? Uh, Major Pol That guy sent me to help you out. So, the Major has you running errands for him. Well, we're short on personnel as well as supplies, so we'll take all the help we can get. Uh, how can I help you with supply problems? The situation looks pretty bad here. C complaining. Oh my god. Dude. This guy's a the soldier. Major Chill. They out some troops to gather supplies, but unfortunately they never returned. I'm guessing they ran into some trouble on the way. You can help by finding the troops and assisting them in bringing back any supplies they found. Alright. Any idea where I should start looking? I sent them to Helios 1 to see if they had any supplies they could spare. They gotta be somewhere between here and there. I try searching the main road or checking with the men of Helios 1 to see if they know anything. Okay, that sounds pretty dangerous. Uh, I like to start asking about something else. Alright. Make it quick. I don't have time to stand around talking all day long. I mean, you were sleeping, so how are things around the camp? Not good. If we don't get more supplies, we're gonna have to start using dirt for food and sticks and rocks for weapons. Hey, how'd you like to do something for me? Uh, I'm always willing to give a helping hand. I want you to collect NCR dog tags from our fallen troopers. That way I can keep track of who's gone and how to reallocate our supplies. Seems easy enough. A little morbid, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's easy. Just bring back any NCR dog tags you find and I'll try to make it worth your while. Alright, man. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. 
My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. What? Is this my friend? Is this Eddie? What? iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Eddie, are you about to leave me? If you're looking for supplies, I'll... But some... Um, how are things around the camp? Tell me about yourself. I wanted to ask about your missing men. What do you want to know? Any idea where to start looking? The cell oh, wait. No, 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 no. Like that's about Make something it else. quick. That was, that was something different. Talking all day long. Your head looks really big compared to the rest of your body. Like to trade? Want to play hand and caravan? No thanks. How are things around the camp? Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, I've been doing this shit for far too long and I've been in too many battles to remember. Still, this has got to be one of the worst situations I've been in. Not too much I can do about it, but do my job and do it right. Man, these soldiers getting too real. Uh huh. These soldiers be getting too real. Like this, this game went from happy, honky dory, to to this. <laughs> Man. Uh, that's a storage shed. I cannot go in there without angering. Okay, why am I looking at those? Okay. Well, I played a little bit of soccer real quick. That's a, that's a chair. It's okay for me to take those? It is. Cool. Will I use them? Well, I'll think about it. I'll work on it. I'll work on using them. Oh, safe is empty, so it doesn't matter if I open it, but I'm not gonna open it because it's empty. Empty. Well, it's nice of them to let me have a little bit of... a little bit of some, some. Empty, empty. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I saw something. Oh, wait, that was just Cass. Hey, Cass. Eddie, you... You are... Now a mystery. You know, I, I thought I thought you, everything was just normal with you, and now you, you got you got logs like your R two D two or something. Oh my God, Eddie is R two D two confirmed. Can I walk on these? I sure can. Look at this. I'm a ninja. Parkour ninja. No. Uh, was there anybody in any of these? I don't see anybody in there. I would have broke those tins. They would have come tumbling down. Duffel bag. Four letters. Oh, there's. Oh, there's letters. I never get all the letters though. Maze request. NCR camp at Forlorn Hope are short on supplies. Quartermaster Maze is looking for our hollow tags to track fallen soldiers. And. Reallocate inventory. Your assistance will be appreciated. Dear mom and dad, oh, this is gonna have some feels. I feel it already. Dear mom and dad, if you're reading this, you know I won't be coming home. I'm sorry how this all ended. I'm sorry for all the times that I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry for storming out the way I did. But I want you to know that you are the best parents anyone could ever have. You gave me everything I could have ever wanted, and I only now see that. Thank you for everything, your son, James. Oh man, I'm gonna find James dead. Oh man. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, don't play with my feels like this. Why you do this game? Why you do this? Alright, so we need to find two more letters. Um. Because that was number three. And I'm assuming that that means that there's a one and a two. Ah, here's a two. It, it, lit, e. Alright, let's go read that. Letter number two. Dear Janie, if you're reading this, that means I didn't make it. I want you to know that you were the most important thing in my world. You were my sun, my moon, my stars. 
Even out here on the battlefield, I thought of you every minute of every day. All night, I put your picture on the bunk above me and looked into your beautiful eyes until I fell asleep. Even though I'm gone, know that I will always be with you. Just close your eyes and think of me, and I'll be there right by your side. Daniel. Oh, I did not sign on for this Phil's trip. I did not sign the waiver <laughs> for, for this Phil's trip. Please take me home. Oh man, is that is that something ahead? Uh, uh, come on. Okay, we're not. We'll just go back this way. It's probably just a cinder block. So there's one more note, guys. One more note. Are you? I already talked to you. I'm just gonna, just gonna step over you, while I look for. Cass is just staring at him. Cass, are you actually staring at him? I can't tell. I can't tell what she's doing. Cass is way different <laughs> than um, Boone. Um, but that's okay, you know. They're, they're two very different people. Is this a sleepy? No, I cannot sleep in that bed. Um, maybe, maybe the other note is over here somewhere. Well, have I finished searching over here? I mean, I know I looked in here. But did I make sure everything was empty? Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Dang it. I was so excited, I thought I was gonna have it. Cause it was a little hidden, so it was like, ooh, this might be it. But it wasn't. Um, safe is empty. Yep. Filing cabinet is for sure empty. Just making sure it's not lying to me or anything. Uh, can't go in there without pissing people off. I don't want to do that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, it's empty. Dang it. Hey. Hey, Fonze. Alright. Is there anything in here that I can search without making people angry? But like, nope, 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 nope. I need, I need a note. Has anybody seen a note? Uh, cause it's the last note and I want it. Take book of science. No thanks. What are these? Oh, Jenny's. Wow, this, this old tech. Henryo. Okay, so it's not in there. There's a couple of sleeping quarters over here, so maybe it's in one of these. Oh, here's a foot locker, but it has a person on it. Empty. The person was on the foot locker, but you know. You know what I mean. Filing cabinet empty. I really want this last note. Like, I want this to be one of the few times that I actually get all the notes. Ooh, foot locker. It's empty. Dang it. I'm gonna find it. Have I been to medical? I don't think I have been to medical. There might be somebody in here. Lots of blood. Diagnose. I can't do that. This one is one of Richard Page's you speak for him. Well, I can't speak to him. He's kind of sleeping. Oh, I can sleep in here. It Yep. I did that. Man, something bad could have happened to me. Like, they could have, like, stolen my liver or my kidneys or something. You should speak to him before. Well, I can't speak to him. He's sleeping. Ah, he's sleeping! Still looking for that last little, uh, note. Oh god, there's blood everywhere. Man. Let's get out of here. Some people might be getting queasy in the video, watching this video. Morale is low. Oh! <gasps> Number five! <laughs> there's two more! <laughs> You've got to be kidding! So I've got to find, uh, all these people, too. Uh, dear mom, pa. 
If you're getting this letter, then I'm sure you've already heard the news. I'm sorry, but know now that I am in a better place. Tell Mikey I did... I did good, okay? Whoops. Um, you are the best family ever. I hope I've made you all proud, Will. I know what I'm calling this episode, Phil's Trip. Man. What is with, like... What is this, pa this past week? My whole life's just been a Phil's Trip. Is that something? No. Okay. What's the point of this jail? Am I gonna lock up somebody? That'd be cool. See if there's anything in here that I might have missed. Foot locker is empty. It'd be bad for me to open it. This one? Bad. My nose itches. Okay. Duffel bag, bad. I guess those are duffel bags of the living people still. Or the still living people. You know what I mean. Alright, let's go in here, see if there's any notes in here. There might be. Double bag. No. No. Nope. Nope. No, I want... Okay, duffel bag is empty and it is red. Duffel bag? Nope. There's a little teddy bear. Oh, That makes me so sad. What's that? Toy car. Why are there... Well, I'm not gonna question. They're living hard lives, you know what? Whatever. It's just a skull. I don't know what that is. Microscope. There, there's nothing in here. I'm missing two letters. I wonder if I'm gonna find them on the bodies of the people. Hello. Hello. You sound like the happiest person here. Alright, so... Wow. Man. Okay. So, um, quest. So have some Enclave Log data store to revise some key keywords. Okay, that was interesting. Go to Helios 1 to ask about Forlorn Hope. Mark that. Have I been there? I'm pretty sure... Yep, accepted. I have been there. So we're gonna, um quick travel there and put her gun away just in case my my trigger finger gets a little too happy you what is it wow rawr uh, I wanted to check in on troopers who sent from camp forlorn hope yeah they were here a while ago gave them all I could which wasn't much but as many problems as we're having here I know they've got it worse I've seen soldiers get assigned there it's like they got told they were gonna die I wouldn't wish it on anybody. If you're trying to track them down, we put a GPS marker in the supply crate. You can track it with your pip boy. Good luck. Okay. Uh, why are you here and not on the front lines? Isn't that more important? Nope. I'm not gonna say that. That's Later. mean. Okay, follow the GPS marker. Is that it? I'm assuming that's it, so let's go ahead and go here. Um, and in this episode here, so thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.